All right, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast. This is going to be from the 27th to the 3rd of February, so this one's going to enter us into February, so January will be over. We're going to be talking about that. This is going to be a very, very cold week, probably coldest of the year, so we're going to talk about that right now. Uh, so we're getting right into the temperatures. You can see there's slightly above average temperatures there for the western United States, up from Arizona through Utah, Idaho, portions of Montana a little bit, but not really notable. Uh, and that extends all the way through, obviously, the west coast. And then we have an area of above average. It's a little bit further above average than that first area. Uh, and, and this area looks to be more consistently warm throughout the week. Now, as we enter our light blue area, that's where we'll be seeing slightly below average temperatures from uh, eastern Montana down through portions of Washington. Wyoming, Colorado, uh, even New Mexico, through Texas into Louisiana, and all the way to the East Coast. Now we have our second shade of blue that extends from the Dakotas down through Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, down to the Gulf States, and back up to New England, up the East Coast. Extreme Coast is going to be uh, held back a little bit from those extreme temperatures, but nevertheless, it will be cold everywhere pretty much in the East Coast, just a little bit less consistently cold there for those areas. Now we do have a third shade of blue, and this is where I expect it to be very cold this week. If you're in those areas, you will know what I'm talking about. You've probably heard about it already on your news or on your Facebook. You've probably seen it. Very cold temperatures on the way. Negative 30s, 40s even for some areas. Very cold stuff. Well below average. It's going to be very consistently cold. It's going to be cold pretty much the whole week. At the tail end, it might not be quite as cold. But it's going to be pretty consistently cold for you guys. Now getting into your precipitation forecast, it's quite quiet. Uh, northwestern United States, we're looking at below average precipitation. In that lighter shade, uh, you're looking at slightly below average, but in your darker shade, uh, it's pretty, pretty dry. Not looking at much to happen at all for you guys this week. Now there's a pretty big area of slightly below average precipitation there for the southeastern mid-Atlantic and kind of extending up into the kind of Great Lakes area, Corn Belt area, uh, where we're going to be seeing slightly below average precipitation. Not a lot of action. There's going to be a storm early on this week, uh, but nothing much other than that. Now, we also have slightly above average precipitation there for southern Florida as well as New England as we're going to see a little bit more precipitation for those areas than the rest of the East Coast. Now, I wanted to apologize ahead of time. I didn't have the time to do the special note portion for this weekly forecast, and I know you guys really like that one and find it very useful. I was really short on time. Uh, I actually have 20 minutes left from this time that I'm speaking to uh, be out of my house, so I have to edit this and get it out for you guys. So I almost wasn't able to do it, uh, but I uh, but I really pushed this one out for you guys. It's going to be very accurate, though, uh, for the temperature and the precipitation. I was able to uh, do that for you guys. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe for next week's forecast and beyond. I do snowfall forecasts and seasonal forecasts and monthly forecasts as well. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week.